All right, what up guys? I just want to quickly announce that I have a t-shirt drop coming for my brand. Um, as you can see, the one I'm wearing right here. Sorry for the delays on the drop, but there is one coming in October. I don't know the exact date, but I'm gonna put it on the screen probably because I'll know by then. Just tease you the graphics a little. So it's four t-shirts. Two of these are from my first ever drop. I think it's almost two years ago, which is kind of crazy. October 9th, 6 p.m. Put the date in your screen and stay updated. I'm doing these designs again. So many people have always asked, when are you gonna put these back? So yeah, that's super exciting. October 9th, 6 p.m., put the time on your phone for an alarm. There's also early access if you wanna sign up on the website. Follow the Instagram, check everything out, and enjoy the blog. You don't actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great, just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup, right? Moon, prism, power, makeup! I'm back home from New York and I know I didn't show this room last time because it wasn't ready but lovely girlfriend behind the camera actually set it all up besides the computer and stuff like that. If you want to reveal. Wow, so looks this amazing. Is my closet. Quickly if I run through my technology things. The reason I have this ugly ass mat that Sid hates <laughs> is because when I used to play Fortnite eight hours a day, no lifing. Maybe let's nerd out for a second. Let's see if Sid understands behind the camera. I played on a low sensitivity, therefore I need more. Isn't it high uh, sensitivity? This is already <laughs> showing why you're new. I played on a low sensitivity, so I need to move my arms so much when I'd play. Freaked out one day, I was like, bro, I can't play with a small mouse pad. And then I bought this big, big one. I searched, where can I buy a giant mouse pad? And there was only like one site I could find at the time for one this big. And it was like, $50 in shipping or something, but I was like, I just need it. Cause I was playing Fortnite so much that I was like, it's a good investment, I need it. And I just changed my background to sort of match it to make it less ugly. If you know, you know, obviously you know. What is, what is Game it? House. house. <laughs> you guys can educate her in the comments. Behind here I have the PS5 hidden and then the screen is for the PS5. This is both my screens for my PC. My PC is here. I honestly don't know that much about computers. My friend built it. Here are the specs if you care. This is a very nice keyboard. Here it's called Cherry Blossom something. But I just got it because Tifu had it when I used to be addicted to Fortnite. Final Mouse. Ninja Air 58, also because of Fortnite addiction. So it built these monitor arms when I was away as a present. You can like tilt them and you can put one in front of the other if you want. This is a 240 hertz monitor too, which is great for gaming. This is my little just nice setup that I totally didn't set up for this video just like two minutes ago. <laughs> what do we got here? Sid got this little Murakami figurine. I think this is Levi's, I just stole it. This is a Nike Dunk book. I think I got for Christmas one year. This is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. This is my uh, Creator Visionary Award with my dad when we won Culinary Creators of the Year. Some little thing I sit added for a little touch, flare touch, scarf. <laughs> Pyrado candle that was a gift from my mom. This is stolen from Kai. Oh yeah, this chair is from Staples. It's really comfortable. So now I get to the closet. This is my hoodie, uh, what would you call this? Cabinet. All my black hoodies. These are my colored hoodies. A little teaser. Look at that purple. Very nice. That's very nice, though. So. Mm-hmm. Look at the weight. Drop shoulder. Another teaser. Anyway, so yeah, these are my colored hoodies. Got tennis shoes down here, which I'm going to play later today. Merch hoodies that I just give to my friends and people that come over. So here are a bunch of, like, random shirts. These are ones that I wear a lot, I'd say. This shirt I just got from New York. Did I even show this shirt? I don't think I did. Just taking that in now. Yeah, because you forgot it yeah. in the bag. I almost left it in the hotel room. <laughs> I picked up the bag and I said, is this empty, babe? And he said, yeah. And then I looked in it and this shirt was still in there. He was going to throw it out. So yeah, these are shirts that I wear often. Crew necks are over here. Hats are up here. Pants. All organized by Sid. Sweatpants, like more jeans. And these are more like cargos. This these should be over here. <laughs> this one's getting like kind of heavy over here because you have so many sweats. Down below are all my shoes. Probably shoes I wear most are these ones and these ones. These are really nice. Detachable swoosh. Jackets, just black jackets here. Got this in Paris. Ordered this, but I tried it on in New York. Probably my favorite jacket is my mom's brand, Varsity BGN. That's pretty much it. This is sort of just other t-shirts. Underwear, socks, favorite pair of socks. 
Barney socks are really nice. And these are just white shirts, more vintage shirts, like merch shirts. All my shorts, more vintage tees, E Generation X. Sweats, more, and this is like workout stuff. And that's mochi. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Is there anything I'm missing? The bug assault. They gifted me this actually, and it's a shotgun that shoots salt and you kill bugs in your house with it. You're missing one thing, the real heat. In this closet. Yeah, Sid's closet is also in here. Her if you, shoes. If you guys really want to see something. I got Sid some flowers. Surprise. And they're at the door and I was like, Sid, like, you have to get the door. And she's working and she's like, why? I'm like, just, you have to get the door. I'm busy. And she was the one working and I wasn't really doing anything. I'm just, get it, please. She's so mad. She's like, I was the one doing work and you're making me get the door. So she just went to get flowers. Let's see her reaction. Because so I told her it was an Amazon package. So she's like, you get it, please. It's actually fine. You should have gotten them. He made me go downstairs and pick up my own flowers. Because it was a good prank. What do you think of the arrangement? Very nice. So my brother Levi's in town in Toronto and we are actually gonna play some tennis today. I haven't played since I was in Europe. Grew up playing, in case you didn't know all, all of the brothers. Who's your character? Oh. So no, I'm there! That's so bad! Got Sid cooking dinner for me when I get home. What? Makeup. Just for me. Huh? Just for me. a little family dinner tonight. Levi's last dinner before he leaves. Going to his well-known steakhouse in Toronto. I don't see my family as much right now because they're in the new place. My outfit, new hoodie, these old Stone Island pants. I need to get shoes on. You know what, you know what happened? You know sister in town, right? Sid's sister. So they decided all the food, like Lee food, right? I said, ask, hey, how was your dinner? And she said, oh, it was okay. You know, it's just like really plain. It wasn't flavorful. It wasn't flavorful. And uh, you got rice. And uh, Sid said, rice? What rice? There's no rice in Lee. So they ordered from a restaurant called Lee Chang. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. We just brought in today. This is from Australia. It's called Morton Co. curious about this recipe I've actually made it before in a bunch of videos if you've watched me for a while you probably know my dad's recipe he taught me sesame soy mirin all of these different chives coriander chili sauce tofu and it's just really easy and it's just like a quick snack could even be a meal too being in my dad I'm just waiting for him to come over because we're filming later probably can't show it but I'll tell you about it after. Do you want to explain to them the prank I just did for YouTube? Okay, that's that's brilliant. So lately, we've been doing this fruit from Asia, the most expensive this, the most expensive that. So, you know, I just sing this in my mind. Today, he said, I got something very special for you. And banana. <laughs> I look at it, I said, wow, from Japan without skin. Yeah, I probably, the Japanese part, we figure it out. They don't want to have the skin, so when they have all these kind of, you know, specs, they don't have good values, when it's kind of like clean, white. And I said, how do they keep it so fresh and white? <laughs> it's real high. It's just fucking plain bananas. <laughs> that I just peeled one second ago. Huh? I just and it just peeled one second. And he's like, the funniest thing, you know? And he got me, son. Again, he got me again. So you guys will see that TikTok eventually. I'm so freaking tired. We, I just filmed this thing with my dad for literally 
eight hours. We'll see it eventually on TikTok. Ever since I played tennis with Levi, I hadn't had my own rackets for a while, so I think I want to get back into it a bit. And I got some new rackets. Sid and I are watching the new Game of Thrones. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's really good. I don't think it's close to Game of Thrones, obviously. It's very good, but it just ain't no Game of Thrones for me. And I don't like all the time passing. Actress is gonna change now. Wait, these are my new tennis rackets. It's probably near the end of the vlog, so I'm gonna tease a little mute t-shirt drop that I have coming soon. I'm gonna pick someone from the comments randomly. Just leave a comment on the video. Kinda wanna leave it as a hint to those who stay to the end so don't make it too obvious. Say something like about the video that you enjoyed and then write your Instagram. But don't say my Instagram, just be like my name is because it, it sometimes blocks Instagram because it thinks it's spam. I'm gonna DM a couple of people on Instagram. Come the drop time, I will send you a shirt. For those who stay to the end.